So, Senator, I, I want to turn uh, f from these quite exhilarating issues about uh, space to another part of the new frontier that's that's darker, and that's the uh, way in which space is becoming a, a domain of military action. Uh, I want to ask you specifically about the Chinese uh, development of what are believed to be uh, anti-satellite weapons, both uh, on the ground and, it, yeah, I'm told, uh, in orbit as well, and the, the threat that that poses uh, not simply to our uh, communications and other systems that are based in space, but to the to the very idea of, of space, uh, which becomes a, a contested domain uh, that, that that's a, a theater of war, not a theater of adventure and experimentation. Talk about that danger, if you would. The Chinese uh, space program is uh, also a military space program. Uh, they are very aggressive and they are very good. And a lot of that success has come within the last few years. Uh, they are now the second nation to have landed successfully on Mars, a rover, which is going to gather a small sample. And in the future, they will try to return it to Earth. Uh, probably within the same time frame that we, the U.S. will try to return our sample that our rover up there, uh, Perseverance, is uh, scouting around with a little helicopter right now, uh, trying to find the sample that we want to send back. Uh, the Chinese are very um, intolerant of any examination of their space program. They are very inflexible. They are not very transparent. Now, contrast this, David, with the difference of a mortal enemy uh, 60 years ago, uh, the Soviet Union, each of us pointing nuclear warheads at each other. Uh, and out of that, in 1975, in the Soviet Union, an American spacecraft and a Soviet spacecraft rendezvoused and docked, and the crews lived together for nine days. And ever since, we have had on the civilian program in space cooperation with the Soviets until 1991, now the Russians. And to this day, we still have that cooperation. As a matter of fact, this morning in Kazakhstan at Baikonur Cosmodrome, they launched another major component of the International Space Station that will be attached to this huge space station. And they continue to be our partners and to operate that space station with us and do the experimentations together. Contrast that with China. So they Senator, don't want you messing around. My my question is whether you'd like to see cooperation, uh, partnership with China, similar to what we've experienced with Russia. Is that something that you as NASA administrator would support? If in fact they would open up, of course. If they would be cooperative in a very transparent way, but they haven't. You mentioned the ASAT. They blew one of their satellites up and it has proliferated junk all over that low Earth orbit area where there's so many satellites and our International Space Station. Uh, just recently, the rocket that put up their space station, which technically is very good, but they didn't provide for a control reentry. We didn't know where that rocket was going to come down as it ended up in the Indian Ocean. Fortunately, nobody got hit, but they wouldn't tell us. So I think uh, we are in a space race with China. They are aggressive, they are good, but I wish they'd do what the old Soviet Union did 
when it came to civilian space, I wish they'd cooperate and be transparent. 